What is the difference between a shade of Kedusha and a shade of Sitra Achra? By Rabbi Yehuda Ashlag. It is written in Song of Songs 2. Until the day breathes and the shadows flee away. We must understand what are shadows in the work and what are true shadows. The thing is that when one does not feel his providence, that he leads the world in a manner of good that doth good, it is regarded as a shadow that hides the sun. In other words, as the corporeal shadow that hides the sun does not change the sun in any way, and the sun shines in its fullest power, so one who does not feel the existence of his providence does not induce any change above. Rather, there is no change above, as it is written, I, the Lord, do not change. Instead, all the changes are in the receivers. We must observe two discernments in this shade, meaning in this concealment. One, when one still has the ability to overcome the darkness and the concealments that one feels, justify the Creator and pray to the Creator, that the Creator will open his eyes to see that all the concealments that one feels come from the Creator, meaning that the Creator does all that to a person, so that one may find one's prayer and yearn to cleave unto him. This is so because only through the suffering that one receives from him, wishing to break free from the trouble and flee from the torments, then one does everything he can. Hence, when receiving the concealments and the affliction, one is certain to make the known cure, to do much praying that the Creator will help him and deliver him from the state he is in. In that state, one still believes in his providence. 2. When one comes to a state where he can no longer prevail and say that all the suffering and pains one feels are because the Creator had sent them to him so as to have a reason to ascend in degree, one comes to a state of heresy. This is because one cannot believe in his providence, and naturally one cannot pray. It follows that there are two kinds of shadows, and this is the meaning of, and the shadows flee away, meaning that the shadows will flee from the world. The shade of Kupa, or shell, is called, another god is sterile and does not bear fruit. In Kedusha, or Sanctity, however, it is called, Under its shadow I delighted to sit, and its fruit was sweet to my palate. In other words, one says that all the concealments and the afflictions one feels are because the Creator has sent him these situations, so that one would have a place to work above reason. When one has the strength to say that, that is, that the Creator causes him all that, it is to one's benefit. This means that through that one can come to work in order to bestow and not for oneself. At that time one comes to realize, meaning believes, that the Creator enjoys specifically this work, which is built entirely on above reason. It follows that one does not pray to the Creator that the shadows will flee from the world. Rather, one says, I see that the Creator wants me to serve Him in this manner, entirely above reason. Thus, in everything that one does, one says, Of course the Creator enjoys this work, so why should I care if I work in a state of concealment of the face? Because one wants to work in order to bestow, meaning that the Creator will enjoy, he has no abasement from this work, meaning 
a sensation that he is in a state of concealment of the face, but the creator does not enjoy his work. Instead, one agrees to the leadership of the creator, meaning however the creator wants one to feel the existence of the creator during the work, one agrees wholeheartedly. This is so because one does not consider what can please him, but considers what can please the Creator. Thus, this shade brings him life. This is called, under its shadow I delighted, meaning one covets such a state where one can make some overcoming above reason. Thus, if one does not exert in a state of concealment, when there is still room to pray, that the Creator will bring him closer, and he is negligent in that. Hence, one is sent a second concealment, in which one cannot even pray. This is because of the sin of not exerting with all one's might to pray to the Creator. For this reason, one comes to a state of such lowliness. However, after one comes to that state, one is then pitied from above, and again, one is given an awakening from above. The same order begins anew, until finally, one strengthens in prayer, and the Creator hears his prayer, and brings one near, and reforms it. <laughs>